Today's series of Jockplexus KL interviews, we have with us Dr. Ajit Babu Maji, who is a medical director at the Center for Sight Hyderabad. Dr. Ajit is an ophthalmologist, eye surgeon, and has experience of 24 years in his field. He completed his MBBS from Andhra Medical College in Vishakhapatnam in 1986, and MD ophthalmology from Rajendra Prasad Center for Ophthalmic Sciences from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, in 1991. Thank you so much for the interview. So let's begin with the first question. Uh, doctor, what is your experience with macular degeneration and its management? My experience with the patients having age-related macular degeneration is uh, dates back from 18 years. And at initial stages, we struggled with the photocoagulation. And later on, we could get the photodynamic therapy then we went on to the injections that is mainly anti vegf injections that is anti vascular growth factor injections which need to be taken regularly and early identification of the disease as the key in success of age related macular degeneration these patients need to report early that's where the success of the treatment lies. The treatment with injections need to be regular and the follow-ups is for very long duration. So our next question is, uh, can doctor, can you please brief on the clinical symptoms of macular de degeneration? This is very important question. The patients do not understand whether they have suffered any complications of age related macular degeneration and any person after 50 years should have one fundus examination which do not happen in our country so it's better that they should know the symptoms of the disease so that when they find any symptoms they should be reporting to the retina specialist especially medical ret medical retina specialist so that they can be detected very early. However, early stages of the disease, the symptoms are key for identification. And the main symptoms is distortion of the vision, especially when they see straight lines, they may appear curved. And there can be dark patches here and there in the central field of vision. These we have one chart called Amsler chart. This chart is very important screening tool for self-assessment by the patients. This can be done every week by the patient. They can close one eye and see this Amsler chart. In very first sight of distorted lines, or appearance of the dark spots, they can report immediately to the medical retina specialist. Uh, so my next question is, according to you, which individuals are more prone to macular degeneration? As I told, age-related macular degeneration, age is the main factor. If you see, above 50 years, any patient can develop. However, the patients with family history of macular degeneration are more likely to develop this disease, especially the complications of the disease. The number two risk factor is smoking. And there can be dietary deficiencies which can also lead to more propensity for development of complications of age-related mac macular degeneration. If you are exposed to sunlight, another big risk factor. So the disease is multifactorial. Which factor acts most in a particular patient is difficult to say. Moving on to the next one. 
uh, what are the different management strategies for the treatment of macular degeneration? As I told you, the, there is two types of macular degeneration, dry age-related macular degeneration, which can be treated with micronutrient supplements. This can be according to ARIDS classification, age-related macular degeneration study classification. It can be given ARIDS grade 2 onwards, grade 1 is not required. Micronutrient supplements is just sufficient. However, once the second type of disease that is wet is related macular degeneration, there will be a neovascular development. Here the main management is by giving anti-VHF injections. Certain times these new vessels are outside the exact center. Some selected cases laser or photodynamic therapy can be done. However, which treatment to be given will be decided by the retina specialist who is examining the patient. They can be able to take the final decision by doing either angiography, ICG or OCT. With the these investigations, after the observations, they will take a final decision. What are the biggest obstacles that you face in the management of macular degeneration? In our society, most of the times, these patients come very late. When they develop the neovascular complication, they should be reporting within one week so that effective treatments can be given. If they delay, the response can be very poor and injections, the number of injections required may be more. So the first obstacle is reporting at very early stage. The second obstacle is these patients require multiple injections. Many patients do not understand the regularity with which the injections need to be given and how long need to be given that adhering to the protocol is the second most difficult obstacle. Here they need to follow whatever the medical retina specialist advises them without any fail and the follow-ups need to be very regular interval and at the end stage nothing is lost even if they go into the end stage because these people are not going to go blind. So advanced stages we can give spectacle correction with a higher power to manage certain day-to-day -day activities. Uh, lastly, uh, DocLexis is an online platform for Indian doctors. How do you think that doctors can use this platform for gaining medical knowledge? This is very good initiative as I see the content of the interview as such. This is a direct uh, access for many people who are accessing online and these days online medical knowledge is very very essential however you need to approach the right personalities so that the message which is sent should be clear and it should not should not be biased and it should not get influenced the any patient in any way in other ways Thank you so much, doctor. It was a pleasure having you here.